Hello, my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Xenoblade 2. Last time we met Praetor Malthus, and this time we're gonna have to try to stop a war because Torna has apparently hijacked a Titan weapon. Will we succeed? Let's jump right in and find out. Let's go. <sighs> oh, I feel like this is gonna be. You're heading for Temperantia? Well, just give the word and we can prepare a Titan ship for you. Are we ready? I'm ready, I guess. Lady Morag, greetings. I have news from the front. Our Titan weapon has crossed the central border. It's advancing at about 40 Titan pets per hour. Oof. I want to get in front of it. Is there a suitable place to dock? There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. All right, that's a plan. Go. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Temperantia. Yeah, it doesn't look a too battle scar cove. Hospitable place to live. All right. <gasps> Let's see what we're really up against. Oh, death. Straight up death. How awful. Mm, they didn't stand a chance. Look, over there. All right. What are we supposed to do about this? Watch out! Here it comes. Uh. Everyone, okay? How'd y'all not die? I think. Uh, dodge again. We have to stop it. How do we do that? That's a very oh, good question. Back. There's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If okay. We can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply will be cut off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. All right. Sure. That sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. Uh. What do you mean? I read instruction manuals. It's my job to know these things. It explodes? The weapon is powered by vaporized Titan bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. <laughs> Air. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that. Oh, damn it. Why make a weapon that dangerous? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's, That's terrible. So cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the excavation. How we get the people on board? The mm. control center is protected by ten layers of armor. All right. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. We have Mithra. But that armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How we get up on Titan's back? Uh, we have someone that can. So yeah, fan. Oh no. Plant. Up ahead. There's a spot where the cliff juts out. If we can get up there, we'll be able to jump onto its back. But if our timing's off, we go head first down to the bottom of the tip. Oh, we're dead. We'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. It's our only chance. Fun? There you go. I See? Mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun. You... All right, then. But you better be careful. Ooh. Don't worry. I will. Then let's go. 
Right. I also remembered we have this divine core crystal. Who should I put it on? Morag? Nia? Rex? Zeke? I'm leaning towards Morag. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah. Let's see what we get. Oh. The name's Corvin. Oh, hi. <laughs> there we go. I should have hit him on Zeke <laughs> just for his personality. Uh oh, he's a tank though, so let's see if we can get uh seek someone else. Just to uh I mean, we're probably not going to get anything. We might get lucky. Well, hi. Hi, murder cat. I'm just pouring some water. <laughs> I mean, there's just a chance, so. We shall see. You remind me of someone. Lower your gaze, underling. Why do you remind me of uh a zombie? <laughs> well, hi. You have the honor of being my driver. This is a very <laughs> Don't blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he clashes. Let's see. All right. What do you have? Build skills. Cavalier attitude. <laughs> Exclusive to dice? <laughs> Question mark? You remind me of a zombie. You very much do. What have we here? All right. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, all right. Let's see how this goes. Almost there. Ah! Ah, we can't get closer. All hey. right, fan. Fan. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Oh wow. All right. Impressive. Ooh. Now, let's move. Jump. That is an impressive jump. Good job, everybody. Uh, an independent defense mechanism, Ardanian technology. My apologies. <laughs> why would you even bloody make something like that? You know why. Fight <laughs> now. All right, let's find it. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, come on. Okay, 
I sh should have probably changed out my blades, but we got this. Uh, let's make use of. Hmm, we're not really doing much damage. Hmm. Can we smack this? Can we do this? Okay. I think we can definitely. Alright. Okay. And then Fyra. We can smack this, so. Oh! Well, we need to wait for it to. Come on! Why is it not charging? I don't know what the. Okay, we're just gonna have to use it. Let's go! Okay. Alright, let's do this then. Red. How dare you. Then we can use- Oh, we can do the thing. Ah, uh, Rex is dead. Oh, we died. All right. <laughs> I don't know if we can do that. Don't know. Oh, Morag, why did you lose like all of your health? What is going on here? Okay, come on. Uh, we had some problems here. Morag, don't you dare die. Let's try this. Okay. I uh, you know I can get a... Okay. What is going on here? There we go. Let's see. Morag died. I I think Morag fell off and then we started with like no health. Morag, do not jump off this time. Okay. Nobody jump off. The wind is my mate. <laughs> that did not help her. Let's try this one. Morag. Yeah, we- uh... Alright. Hmm. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do this, but... I wasn't really making any progress with the other thing, so... Let's go. Yeah, grab that. Okay, let's go. Why are we not? Alright, one. Okay, come on. Oh, there. Okay. Come on! Alright, steam bomb. Okay. Let's just make use of this while we have it. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good. Oh, we got this. Okay. All right. 
Okay, very good. Oh, shoot. Okay, oh, shoot. Morag! Come on, air healer. Shoot. We've almost, come on. Okay, well. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yes! Da -da -da. Okay. Oosh. Uh, should we run? I was told this thing would explode. Yes, seems like it. Run? It's you. I thought it might be. Oh, hi! Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenore. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. Uh... How ironic. That you should speak his name with that face. Oblivious to everything. Even your own identity. Oof. What? Do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there. Acting like you're not involved in all this. I need answers. Alright. Then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin fought against him. Yes. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. And what? I have no idea. What? I'm... I don't think it's as simple as that at all. Oh. Oh, we have to smack him? So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. So humble. Mitra, don't tell me. Yes. He's a blade too. Uh-huh. He was the strongest blade in Torna. Until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sang it. A blade. There were none stronger, yet none kinder either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin, what changed? This is very what good questions. It was your fault. Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then she'd still. Hmm? Oh. So that's it. Oh. That coal crystal. It is a It's like blood. Careful. That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before, was that? Go ahead and try. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh! Is the core crystal corrupted in some way? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's try this. Okay, so we can work with... Come on, let's move a bit back. With Lauren. All right. There we go. Good. All right. Oh, wait. What? Okay, there we go. 
We'll use Mithra to help. Nice! Topple, good. And all I need to do is now rock. Uh, can I charge that to four? I don't think. Oh, yeah, I can. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we go. Perfect. Got it. Do, do, do. Okay. Uh, let's use this. Okay. Okay, we got this. All right. Change to Florin, then change to Pyra. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Can I... No, I can't. Alright, let's just go with this. Let's go! Alright, good. Now I think we can use... All right, chain attack. All right. Well. Okay. Oh, it's gonna. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's try Corvin. Yes! Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Oh well. Yes! Very good. Yes! Alright. Fire, I should smack him. Overkill start! Always, always good. Oh, let's try Corvin again. Pure rage! <laughs> I love he's just like standing there. Here we go! Yay! That one wasn't as hard as the machine! How is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jim, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. Even so, we can beat him. Uh... We just have to work together. I don't think so. Whoa! <gasps> what? Fun! Oh, okay. No slave. Be free now. Oh. Oh. Fun. Oh no. Oh. No. No. Why? Jin! Why the hell would you do this? What good does it do you? Why, you ask? Then let me ask you this. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high, yet we are doomed to never remember. Why? What? The accumulation of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow change evolve but blades are fleeting when we return to our cores our memories are lost our growth snatched away forever people are so different i mean when they died they're over yes however though each individual life is fleeting you pass on your memories allowing you to grow as a species as a culture 
Why does Endol control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Endol decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. You wouldn't exist without drivers as well, though. We are you the masters and we the slaves. I mean, yeah, you both sides. This world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you should there be you resistance the last no you but you would understand now that you have come this far there can be no turning back but also can they exist without I'm drivers your journey ends here oh Oh. Why now? Hey, now's our chance. Huh? What are you standing around for? Show that scumbag what's what. Uh. What? <laughs> yeah, that's my question. What? It's Akos. Oh, hi. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Ready? <laughs> Who says we're going to let you go? You really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? Uh, should we run away? How? We cut the bloody cable. Certainly, but some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Dun dun dun. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. All right, let's Wait. fight the robot again. Like, are they trying to get blades to exist without drivers? I kind of understand that goal. If <laughs> like that, that's an understandable goal. But hey, we can now smack it now. Alright, let's focusing on I don't know why I hit that. Alright, there we go. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Steam bomb. Because by the time we get Oh, no, I have to have... This is doable. Come on. Can I get to a level four? That'd be great. Come on! Let's go. Mm, no. All right. There we go. Awesome. All right, progress. Okay. Uh, we need. Hmm. Oh, they're locked. That's why. Uh, there was not what I was planning on doing, but okay. Okay, good, good. This is fine. How about we do... We can do... Nuclear Blast. We just need... Pyra. Let's go! Bad. Can you stop shackling me? Okay, come on. What is- oh, I'm sh shoot! Ah! Well. Okay, well, this is fine. Here 
we go. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Well, we can... Let's go... I mean, there's a chance we could use her as well. Okay. We just need... We got this! Oh no! I can't hear anything, but this is fine. <laughs> I've unplugged my headphones. Oh no! No! Rex, come on. Alright. Yeah, let's use this one. This is a slightly different one, I think. Oh, hi! Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Thank you, Medicat. Alright, good. Alright. Uh, we should be able to... Ish. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's go. Yes. First. Very good. Mm. Strongest. Good. And jump again. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, I guess Corvin. Give him a chance. All right. That did quite a bit of damage. Very good. Go ahead and use this. Oh, wait. What? Okay. Cool. I don't have ice, but... I'll just make do with this. This is fine. <laughs> okay, now I need... Plug in headphones. No! Get it. Yeah, this is really freedom. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But I couldn't do anything. Oh, fine. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. Jin, what happened to make you like this? Hmm. Mithra, talk to him. What is that? Dad. Orion army. So many of them. Oh. What? No. Uh, ceasefire! Ceasefire! Who gave that damn order? At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think Moor Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up. And let e them kill each other? No! Uh Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Uh We need a shield wall. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. Shield? Uh Okay, that works. Can we stop it? Ah, uh, chapter five. K 
Okay. Yay. Okay. Let us save. We are now <sighs> continuing on in. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Chapter six. <gasps> You little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now... Please! She's barely ten years old! Silence! Stay out of it! Well, this is dark. If you die, it'll be as good as new. You brought this on yourself. What? <laughs> well, that's a start to a life. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe, always. My name is Jin. What's yours? Laura. Mm. This game get got dark quite fast. <laughs> It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. Mm. You all right? I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Is that part of your dream, too? What are we in the end? This hunger I feel, this thirst, is it really my own or is it someone else's? <sighs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jin, are you really here? I don't know where I really am. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah? Perhaps we're not so different after all. Humans and blades. All right. The blades are having an existential crisis. And they're going to start war about it. Okay. Uh, that's what I've gathered. He says he's like, oh, I don't want to be a slave, but he's also still very attached to his memories and... Yeah, we definitely treat the Drake Blades with respect. No. Oh. What's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor Amalthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? 
If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. <laughs> you got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CO says jump, we jump. <laughs> I love they just showed those, like, low-level guys as well. <laughs> Good night, folks. Everyone sleep well? Uh, Probably not, considering what just happened. Not a wink. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag over there, right? I think I would be perfectly capable of finding my own way. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. See, we might as well head over. I guess so. I guess you're right then. Let's go then. I'm trying to figure out exactly. Malos is a blade. Jin is a blade. I'm guessing like pretty much everyone in Torna is a blade, which makes me think. Maybe Nia. Uh, seems to be like made up of blades at this point. Uh, and then there is that hot spring scene like, are you? Should we keep it a secret? So that that could very well be. Because that was the only thing I could think of. Uh. Come. Uh. When we had that scene. She's got the blade. You can't disengage it. Are they bl just blade partners? Like, I don't know. Uh. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hey, do you know who tends this garden? Uh, I'm not too sure. But this place is the sanctum of the Indolene Praetor. I guess it would have the same stately aura no matter who tended it. Well, I can really feel the that the gardener here truly cherishes this place. I think they must be a good person. Yes, you're probably right. I think so. If I met the person responsible, I'd certainly want to commend them on their excellent work. Haha! <laughs> 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 of course, I'd be glad to. May I ask your name? Called Florin. Oh, Florin, I'd like to give you this. I'm sure that the person who tends this garden would thank you for your kind words and give you a token of thanks. Actually, I'm rather pleased that someone else appreciates this garden. Huh? Yeah. Do -do -do! Very nice. Uh, can we avoid all out war? Okay. War Day did not attack you. Uh, sabotage. We're both, uh, victims in this one particular case. The board name probably shouldn't have been continuing their work on this weapon. Uh, to be fair, they were working behind their back, so. Alright, let's see what the consequences of all of this nonsense. Oh. I'm stealing your chair again. I am, again, now the praetor. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Are we ready? We're ready. Through here is the venue for the Summon of Nations. I must apologize, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is as far as we go. Yes, Brigitte and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you. And so are you, Mithra, remember? I, I guess. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I have to play my part in all of this. Rex, you head back to our chambers with the others and wait for us. No problems. Be careful in there, okay, Mither? Don't worry, I'll handle this just fine. I mean, should you go with it? Well, Rex is probably not the best at dipl diplomacy, so... Just a bit clueless, so... My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire. Queen Rakura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. Except it wasn't war. Intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Hello, Nira Nira. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese. His Highness, the Crown Prince Oziklyrus Brunev Tantal, will also be attending. 
That's a name. The crown prince, the prodigal prince of Tantal. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And of course, Mithra. Ooh. What a spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. Or hard for yourselves the later. The tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so... That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Oh? Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. This is about what? <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. He will annihilate mankind, and then... Oh, all right. He will kill the architect. Well, that answers some questions. He's very angry. All right. Now, it seems Mor Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied. That weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offences does not lie with your majesty at all. It does not, it lies with Torna. investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? Ah. Huh? Torna. Please don't say anything dumb. <laughs> what a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. A very... How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclyrus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Can confirm ex-chairman Banner give these people some kind of supplies. Hmm. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malus, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Uh, Ridiculous. Yes. Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame. He did not. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, <laughs> has confronted us in person. <laughs> and if my word is not enough for you... Ah, let's talk to the other Aegis. Good. Zeke is not being a complete idiot in this matter. A blade? But that core crystal... Uh-huh. This is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? It's... If you Excuse that, me. I say your surprise would be even greater. How rude. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Oh, look, he can be serious. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there 
for a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. Yeah. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Negotiations take time. Ugh. Especially if you're trying to be diplomatic. Oh. I've noticed something about Malos. He's angry? He's an Aegis. But you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. <laughs> you mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. He's just it salty. It's a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. Which is probably why he doesn't listen to his driver. All of this is my responsibility. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. Dun, dun, dun. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... Once, I mean, technically still is. I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. Mm -hmm. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. That is an intense stare. The time may have come to lift that restriction. Oh? I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. This is very much true. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. <laughs> I'm not laughing at this scene. It's for both our sakes. Render Cat is trying to go start a fight. But you, Amalthus. Who is it that you're living for? <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to live to correct his mistakes? I don't know. Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better slept than yesterday? Are they? Pretty much. Oh. Don't make me sad. And state funeral is to be held today, is it not? Yes, I think it was meant to be happening in Sauris Plaza, right outside the Sanctum. You'll be going, right, chum? Yes, it would be wrong of for me not to. Sauris Plaza's not far away. Time to go, quick, quick. Mr. Pond, so bassy sometimes. I don't wanna. Why? Why, game? I've... Do I need to get the tissues ready? Do I need to get the tissues ready for this? Okay, we have to, we, ha we have tissues. This is this is fine, right? Oh. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. 
What? No. They need emotional support. I expected you be more clingy. You really are different from it. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates. Is this the appropriate time for this? You're saying you want to go be clingy or what? I'll burn you. <laughs> okay, at least this is making it a little less emotional. Oh. It's weird though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minna? I mean Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. Mm hmm What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. Mm-hmm. But now it's a triangle. It's Rex only and I half. Have quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But fans isn't like that. Exactly. Sure. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Hmm. How would you steal a core? It's quite the grand funeral ceremony. Spoke volumes as to just how much Fan was loved by her people. The goddess of Vendel won't be an easy position to replace. Hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the world tree, we'll need the Praetor's help, but... Master Rex, there you are. Praetor Malthus wishes to speak with you. He's waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing then. Maybe he wants to talk about the world tree. I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get ourselves on over to the audience chamber then. All right. Okay, I didn't need the tissues because I was too distracted by Mithra and Mia and also Mystery. <sighs> I feel like we should go back and pay our respects to... Van Dad now. Right. What? What's happening? How does that look like DNA? My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? What are you doing? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Mm -hmm. Bonding with a crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So, mm -hmm. I might be able to do it too? Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then. My work is done for the day. Come with me. Oh? A special envoy? 
to Tantal. Me. Oh no. Correct. <laughs> Behold. We must go to Zeke's home. I am fri As frightened. As I imagine you are already aware, but this is all rest <laughs> the world we currently inhabit i mean i'm pretty sure everyone knows this we make our home on titans moving in circles around the world tree and here lies the great void mm -hmm. this void came into being 500 years ago it did not exist prior to that oh so i've heard it's in our way anyway it stopped us reaching the world tree the great void is carved from the cloud sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Where did this come from? Wait, you mean that thing? Oh, it has a name! I can give it a name instead of just the world serpent. Precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra? Mm, there's two Aegises. So that thing is Mithra's? Then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. No. Did he take control of it? This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Oh? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. Protect. To ensure that none approach Protect world tree. the world tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. Mm -hmm. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. Oh, you are useful. I've okay. I've prepared documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Yes. Not sure what we'll My find there, but... We'll surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you... To reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man, and so that people may have a future in this dying world. All right. So, Zeke, you're going to be guiding us to Tantal, right? Sure am. But let's head back to our chambers before we talk about it. This isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff. Back to our room. Got it. I've got news. But will you hear it? Great work. Ah. Oh, hi. Oh, can we go in and out now? Nice. Prayer to study. Huh. I'm going to steal his other chair. <laughs> Again, I am now a prayer. All right. <laughs> Am I going to regret this? Maybe. I don't know. Go we'll cry. All right. Um. Sure, let's go here. Oh. What did I just do? Meme? I just wanted to go visit his grave. The funeral reminded me. Master Pawn, is something wrong? Tori, I see unfamiliar object right over there. Do you think that's the mysterious light Zuo mentioned? I wasn't here before, that's for sure. No, I imagine I'd remember. But what is it? Tori's senses are tingling. If you're so caught. Curious, Toya, why don't you go check it out? Meh meh! No, no, Toya believes discretion is better part of valor. Curiosity kills more Nopon than Aligo. Maybe Rex Rex check. Me again. Blah. 
I would be lying if I said I wasn't curious myself. Just like with salvaging, if you don't take chances, you'll never make it to the good stuff. Right. Go on, Rex. Do your thing. O on it. Just, uh, please don't do anything reckless. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Beat me up, Scotty. Alright, now, uh... Ooh. What is this place? Ooh. Yeah, it looks vaguely <laughs> At least as far as the clouds. Very strange and mysterious is what? This may not even be all rest. Well, we'd better be on our guard. Oh. What? <gasps> what? <sighs> Uh, wow. Shulk, maybe we should turn back. We don't even have our weapons. Mm. What is happening? Huh? <gasps> the Monado. I'm so confused. And my too. I don't know what's going on, but I feel a little safer now. I don't know if I do. Hmm. Uh, help. <laughs> It's not the Bionis, but it's not the Maconis either. We're in unknown territory for sure. Hey, Shulk, someone's over there. Huh? Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, hi. Masterfun, humanoid life forms. Clothing style look funny. What should we do? I'm so confused. Look friendly enough. Hmm. But it's just so strange running into people in a place like this. Brain, what? <laughs> Cannot. Uh, I'm not sure how to handle this. Looks like we've got a problem. It's good to help each other out. Tell us what's wrong. Huh? Oh, I, um... We have no idea where we are. Popped up in this weird place. That's what's wrong. There is something strange about it, for sure. Shog, you should recognize hey, all Shog. the cloud. Looks like we're in the same boat. Yeah, you're right. We all came here unwillingly. I guess we are in the same predicament. So you don't know what's going on either. I, I, mm. I'm joining you That's and right. I don't know what's going on. I've no idea where this is or why we're here. Hmm. We're all clueless then. Well, why don't we team up? We can check this place out together. <laughs> this is not what I was planning. Sounds good. Oh, Actually, okay. I was about to say that myself. Oh, great. We've put the two clueless people together. And I'm Pyra. Call me Nia. Old fear bag here is Drill Mac. Dora is Dora! Please call Poppy Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lively bunch. I'm Shulk. <laughs> and I'm Fiora. Good to meet you. Ah, likewise. Pain is not computing, though. Awesome. I have this great feeling that everything's gonna work out fine. What did I stumble into? I have no idea, but okay. <laughs> this was not what I was planning. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is DLC content. Okay, that makes sense. I was just going, uh... Uh... <laughs> I'm so confused. Wow, your world sounds way different from all rest, Shulk. Can't even imagine. But they also have a fair number of things in common. It's so curious. Not born. In any case, now that we know what's what, we can start exploring this place in earnest. Hmm, not that there's much to see here. Shulk, Vera, have you guys been here before? No, never. Pure and I were just walking when suddenly we saw this odd light. It turned out to be a portal. 
And Shulk being Shulk, he just had to stick his nose in and see what it was all about. Yes, sorry about that. Creative Poppy and friends were similar. Tora also think like Shulk. Not care if curiosity killed no one. Cannot stop self from touching things. You made Rex touch it. What are you talking about? But it was Rex Rex who activated portal, not Master Palm. Fact is irrelevant. So the portal you came through is over there somewhere. Yeah, then. You came through a different one, then. That's right. It's just over there. Uh. I can't see anything. Same here. I suspected as much. Each of us can only see the portal that we ourselves pass through. We can't travel to your world, Rex, and you can't travel to ours. So we can only meet here? Seems that way. It's decided, then. We spend nice time chatting here? Ooh, shall I prepare some snacks? Where? There's no kitchen! Oh yes, please, Pyra. I'd love a bite. That not... Such a good idea. Do we ha Is this... Is this... Nopon Archsage? I'm gonna read it as a... That not such a good idea. Who's there? The voice came from above. Over it is! Nopon Archsage! Over here. Hi! When did he... It's no big deal. Not for no bon art sage. Who are you? Shulk. Shulk. No bon art sage is great no bon who through endless training and many times and places became sagey, sagest of sages. Even though art sage look even more little pawn than Tora. Such rude pawn. Despite appearance, no bon art sage is hundred millions times age of Tora. Hundred million? I'm not buying it. Friends, believe it or not, it not matter. The truth is truth, and truth is that no pawn art sage make this place. You made this place. Indeedy. But whatever for? To pose and witness overcoming of combat challenges of unimaginable and frankly unbelievable difficulty. So you want to test our strength? Strange hobby for a no pawn to have. Yeah, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. Meh, not very upsetting to hear. As long as Tora can get reward, Tora have no problem with challenging challenge. But of course, if friends can overcome challenges, no point or sage with fork over treats. Commen I have never read this word aloud. Commensurate with results. Ooh, ooh, can Tora win rare tropical edition of tasty sausage? That was actually not very tasty, so no point or sage liquidate stock. Meh. Tori come up with thing on spur of moment is really real product. May not have that particular item, but still many other rare stuffs to give. Tori want to have go? I'm a bit curious myself. Rex, don't you think we should try it? I'm with you, Nia, and I love a good challenge. Choke, Fira, what do you think? If it was Ryan, I'd probably say no way, but eh, I'm in. You can't really get to know someone without having a few skirmishes together, right? If Fira's feeling it, I'm in too. Super duper. But the way you guys fight is different from how we do in our world. Why don't we take on a support role? Good point. Looks like we can summon our weapons at will. I guess that would make us like your world's blades. Oh, that's an, gotta be a nice skill to have. Going into battle with Fiora sounds like it'd be a trip. Look forward to it. Well then, when friends feel ready, please give Nar Pawn Archsage shout. Then challenge battle can begin. This was, uh, not the, the plan. Okay. Well, this is good to know. I, I, I'm going to return to all rest now while my brain just processes what happens. Yeah, we, we kind of have a mission. We need to go back to all rest now. Understood. Doesn't look like we can go with you, so we'll just wait for you here. Take care of yourself, Rex. Sure thing. We'll be back soon enough, I'm sure. Keep yourselves occupied, yeah? We'll do, Rex. Get back safe. <laughs> uh... I'm happy, but also super confused. Uh, okay. I was just gonna be like, okay, we're gonna pay respects. It's, you know, been a while since we came over here. We had a funeral, so I was like, oh, yes, we should, you know, we miss you. We miss you, Van Dad. Uh, mercenary group's doing well. It's level three. 
Uh, that's, that's all I wanted to say. And, uh, we just got, a sort of, um, change. <laughs> You're in the way. Uh, Boreas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, on the way here, we kind of got, uh, slightly temporarily kidnapped by an Obon Art Sage. So, uh, sorry it took us a little longer. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We're spring out, breaking out, uh, at least you don't have to worry about that. All right. <laughs> um. We've prepared your rooms. I presume you'll be wanting to take your leave soon. Please make sure you're well rested before you set out once more. Sure. Okay. We can reach Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. Oh, that's easy enough. I'm traveling with Shell, you. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, you make an ally. So great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky furball. Is he wrong? We're all going to die. <laughs> hey, Zeke. I love Dia. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. Oh. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam, the hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal. That's right. That is the first I've heard of it. I have studied much history, but this story never featured. Is it peculiar. hidden? We're humble. Don't really like to brag about it. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. Hmm. I can't see it very well. It's only there for a second. So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. Hmm. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. <laughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, mm. I find the warrior monks here so reliable. They get the job done. You don't want to make more mistakes? If you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty and nostalgia. Who can say? Perhaps both. Is that really all there is to it? You don't think so? I don't know much about what happened while I slept. I mean, that's there are fair. No written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly you know what You were present, place. so... But weren't you one of those present? <laughs> Thank you. And that is why I offer you my cooperation. Can you offer us your explanation instead? I guess we'll find out if we go to Tantal. All right, All right. Let's head for Godia's port. Can we make it a leisurely walk? I guess. Why? It's been yonks since I went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indol as my home for so long now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two. Gonna take some Indoline presents for the folk you haven't seen in a while. Ha! As if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking. To go to your sport. You could grab a swig of Odufa along the way. They don't have that stuff in Tantal, so this could be your last chance. Oh, that's Pandora. I said shut up already. <laughs> <laughs> he is the, the ride, I feel like, of our party. Well, we have went from Letheria to Indwal to now going to Tantal. We've got some information. I now know their goal. 
they want to wipe mankind off the face of all rest. Kind of have a reasoning behind it. I'm curious, it seems like there's a lot of blades in Torna. Maybe only blades. I mean, they want to wipe mankind off, so it seems like it would only be blades, right? So I'm guessing it yeah, could be a blade, but I'm not entirely certain about that. I'm very confused what is going on with the Praetor Malthus. Who stole half the core from Fan slash Haze? I'm very sad that Fan died. I'm trying not to get too attached to the characters. Luckily, the story and everything kind of distracted me from that fact with Nia and Mithra's exchange and then the mystery of the core crystal. So I could focus a little bit less on how sad I was. All right, you know what time it is? It's time to read some comments. And luckily this week, Kathy has her voice back. So let's jump right into our first comment. Our first comment is by Mteb, a Malthus. I would like to believe there is one who could reach the architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? Kathy, a little. Hyra, Mithra, Nia, Dromark, Zeke, Pandaria, Tora, Poppy, Morag, Bridget, and Azurda, who also believe the same thing. Hmm? That is not at all what I meant, though I can see how that's easily misconstrued. I meant Amalthus in particular believing that to be a little strange. Not everyone else, just him in particular, because I find him suspicious. Do I find it strange that anyone could believe that? No. Do I find it strange that you believe that? Yes. Very much yes. I just wanted to clear up what I meant by that comment and thank you for yours. I appreciate it. I appreciate pointing out when sometimes what I say is ambiguous and I can clear it up so people aren't confused by what I meant. So thank you again for that. Our next comment is by Nerdy Cat Lover. I'm impressed that you noticed the thing with the Zekenator's chest. Zeke is considered one of the best drivers by many hardcore fans. He's good with most weapon classes and so he's pretty versatile. Honestly, I'm surprised I noticed it. I typically am oblivious to the very obvious and notice random little details. But thank you for your comment because I don't think I really appreciated how versatile he is. And while I definitely enjoyed using him for a while, I don't think I gave him enough of a chance as a driver and used him as well as I could have. So thank you for pointing that out because I definitely now want to give him a better chance and try him out more. And our last comment is by Bram Weenink. I love that you love Poppy's reactions throughout the story. Poppy is a real fan favorite, both in character and because of how good Poppy's final form is. A well-built, customized Poppy is a beast in dealing damage. Oh yes, I found that out much later in the game, but absolutely. I definitely spent way too many hours in Tiger Tiger getting parts for Poppy so I could build her into an absolute beast. I definitely need more practice with her, but I absolutely love her builds that you can do with her. And on top of that, yes, she is just a great character and I love just watching her in the background sometimes. Poppy is a gem that we love, treasure, and appreciate. Just like I appreciate your comment. Thank you so much for it. That's going to be it for today. So as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon.